Hey guys, what's up? This is MooneyB123 coming to you today. I want to show Lollipop running on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Mine is the AT&T version, the i317. This is running Lollipop through CyanogenMod version 12. One truly frustrating thing is that I'm able to run CM12. I'm able to have Lollipop on my Note 2, whereas on my Note 3, the Verizon model, I'm not going to be able to get Lollipop on this thing until uh, until Samsung gives the official Lollipop to it. So my Note 2 is able to get to Lollipop where my Note 3 is not, and it's because of the, the bootloader situation there. Okay, so what I want to do is I just want to show you Lollipop running on this thing and just show some different things about, about this. Okay, first of all, let me take a screenshot real quick just so I'll have a notification here. And here's one of the new things in Lollipop is once you open up, if you have a notification or anything, it shows right here on the lock screen. And I can drag that down to expand it if it's expandable so that I can see what's going on there. Okay. So so that that happens like that. Now also from the lock screen, I can swipe from the uh, from the left hand side and it'll take me directly into my dialer. Or from there, from the lock screen, I can swipe from the right and it'll take me directly into my camera. Okay. So let me go over into settings and just show you that indeed this is running on Lollipop. So I'm gonna go to about phone. And you can see right there, Android 5.0 brings up the Easter egg or the first Easter egg. Then if you push and hold on that, it'll bring you into the second Easter egg, which is a Flappy Bird clone. And I'm not very good at this at all. So, anyways, there you go. Okay, <clears throat> next thing, I'm just going to go through here and just kind of show you some random things here in Lollipop and just generally showing you just Lollipop running on this thing. So, one thing is, is if you go into settings, you can, this is uh, new in Lollipop is what they call screen pinning. So, if you go into settings, go to security, and then in security... There is this right here, this screen pinning. Okay, if you turn that on, then uh, then you can pin a screen. So what what happens with that? So I've already got some apps open. So it's what I'm going to do. And on the Note 2 to, to get to this, I can just push and hold the home button. And it, that becomes my overview button. Now, I actually have my menu button set up the same way. Um, in the settings, I set my menu button to be an overview button also. Okay, but you can see right here, I can pin this screen. And it's asking me if I want to pin the screen. And I'm not going to do that now because to get out of it, you have to push the overview button and the back button. And for some reason, with the way these buttons work, it won't let me, won't let me get out of that without rebooting it. But that'll pin a screen. And that way, if you hand your phone to somebody, they can't easily just get out of that app and go to something else. And uh, so it kind of gives you a little bit of security there. So I'm going to tell that no thanks because I don't want to have to reboot right now. All right. So when you drag down, you drag down once to see your notifications and you drag down again. And then it brings up this quick settings here. And you can see here in this quick settings, there's usually a flashlight is built into this. This is an early build right now and it's not in there or I, I haven't found it yet. It may be there. I just, I haven't seen it. Usually when you drag this down, it's built into Lollipop has been able to turn on your flashlight. But one thing here is that you can see there, you can cast screen. You can do Chromecast real easy in Lollipop now. Okay. You can see these other options up here. Okay. One thing on the battery. So if you go to the battery, this is something new that it'll give you an approximate time that you have left on your battery. So that's a pretty neat thing to be able to kind of give you an idea of how much how much time you have left. Okay, again, if you drag this down, you can go directly into settings from right here. But notice in settings you have a search button. They have put search in a lot of different areas now in Lollipop. But 
let's say in this search, let's say I forgot where uh, where that screen pin uh, was at in the setting. So if I start typing in screen pinning, okay, click on that. It takes me right to security, and then I can go right down here to screen pinning. All right, next thing is if I do volume up or down, okay, it gives you these new options here. So if this is set to all, that's just letting everything come in. It's letting all text messages, all calls, everything coming in on that setting. Okay, if it's set to none, nothing's going to happen. No, no interruptions, not even alarms are going to sound. And you can set that indefinitely. In other words, it's going to stay on that setting until you tell it otherwise. Or you can tell it to do that for an hour or for two hours or eight hours. Or you can go down to 15 minutes or however however low you want it to go. I guess 15 minutes is as low as you can do that. Okay, if you put it to priority, in priority, you have lots of, of things that you can that you can change here. So here you're telling it what you want to come through and what you don't want to come through. So here, right now, events and reminders is going to come through in this priority mode. Calls, messages will not come through. And just different settings, but I wanted to show you kind of the new animation here in Lollipop. And also, if you change that to priority mode, you'll see there'll be a star up here in the, in the notification bar. So whenever I change that to all... No star. Not, I guess it does that if it's on none also. Nope. Only in priority is whenever that little star shows up. Okay. Next thing is the new keyboard uh, under, under KitKat. But I like this new keyboard. And you can change that keyboard. If you go over to settings, you can change... Just built in from uh, from Lollipop. You don't have to go to the store or anything to do this. Go over to here. Let's see. Yeah, if you'll go there. Go to, nope, go to um, appearance and layouts. You can go to theme. And then I like material dark. And I like that keyboard. I like the animations. It looks looks really nice to me. Okay. Another thing built into Lollipop is is this is this new Android beam. So if you open up a, a picture or something. Okay, let me see, I just was gonna do that. Okay, so anyways, Android Beam so tap another device to complete. So now you can just tap that to another device and to be able to send that across. Another thing new in Lollipop is app notification privileges. So if you go into settings, go to sound and notification, and then go down here to app notifications, you can go to any specific app. Okay, my favorite calculator app. And, you know, sometimes on some of these apps, especially games, you get all these notifications and you're like, you know what, I want to play that game once a week or maybe once every two weeks. And I don't want to lose my saved data, but I also hate all these notifications that they just keep sending me over and over and over again. Well, now with that game, whatever it is, Clash of Clans or whatever that keeps sending you junk, you can go in here to the specific app and block it where it will not send notifications to you. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, just another couple random things here. In settings, I thought this was pretty neat. I, I saw this on a website, but if you go into accessibility and they had the ability here to help people who have color blindness. Go to color correction, correction mode, and then they have all these different correction modes for people who, who have who have some form of color blindness to possibly to help remedy that. Now it does say here that this is 
that that's experimental and may affect performance. So just be careful with that. Okay, the other thing that I like about this is, well, in in Lollipop, it's supposed to be able to give the, the functionality of having the double tap to wake, okay? Like on my G2 here. Okay, my G2 double tap here, and it, and it wakes up for me. The Note 2 can't do that, but it does have the double tap to sleep, which is, is also pretty nice. So if you'll just double tap the notification shade, that will turn, will turn the display off there as well. So I just wanted to show Lollipop running on the Galaxy Note 2. Like I said, mine's the AT&T version. This, is, this ROM really is for just the, the international version. Um, so, so it's coming out on those. It's been out for the for the 3G International Note 2, but now we've got it for the for the LTE version, for the International LTE, and for for the AT&T version here. So, there you go. Like I said, I think it's pretty cool that my Note 2 can still run this pretty good, where my Note 3 is not going to get lollipop until Samsung puts that out for it. Thanks for watching today.